Hello and happy Saturday. Today is the 27th of April, which means today also happens to be the day that I exited the womb 20, 22 years ago. That makes me sick. It makes me sick. I'm 22 today. I hate my birthday. Um, I have hated my birthday since I was 13. I used to love my birthday from ages, you know, birth to 12. Loved it. Um, and then when I was 13, I started to hate it. And so this year, I'm making a special effort to try and romanticize the day. I don't have to have a special birthday, but I would just like to have a special day in general. It's any old day, but I'm gonna make it special, is the plan. Um, because otherwise, I will do what I've done for the last however many years and I will sit in my car and I will cry all day long okay and we're gonna try this year to avoid that if you're wondering why I hate my birthday I think there's a multitude of reasons but I think the main thing is the crushing weight of my own expectations for myself um, and like every year I just think wow another year where you have achieved nothing congratulations you're useless you're wasting your time on this planet and tomorrow you're going to be dead. It's all very morbid. It's all very dramatic. Um, I mean, I know that to most people 22 is young. To me, it feels very old and I am scared, okay? I have been opposed to aging since I turned 18. I was like, no, this isn't for me. I would like to stay right here. 17 was a great age for me. I had a great time. Um, and everything afterwards seems to have just been a bit downhill. Um, but I am manifesting and I'm I'm being positive and I'm romanticizing and this year, my 22nd year on the planet, <laughs> it's going to be my best year yet, okay? Another reason I hate birthdays is because I don't like the idea of like other people feeling like they have to appease me. Like I never wanted to invite anyone to like a birthday like event or like hi, do you want to go for like a walk for my birthday? Do you want to like go to the cinema for my birthday? I was always like, don't be silly. Of course they don't. They have things to do. Don't ask. So I like to spend my time alone anyway. Like that's my favorite way to spend time is by myself. So today I unfortunately can't be by myself all day because I have some things to do. Like I'm getting a haircut later and I'm going to Pilates with my mum. But I have booked a cinema trip tonight for just me so that I can just, you know. And then on the way home from the cinema, I probably will cry and cry and cry and cry because you know I'll be in the car it'll be dark I'll have my sad playlist on so we can get the tears out then but from now until then I'm a busy girl I have things to do I'm distracting myself on purpose so that I can't be too sad so on the agenda we are off to Pilates in any minute um once I film this clip we're going I'll show you my Pilates outfit of the day in a minute it's very Pilates princess core lots of pink going on to match my nails which I got done yesterday and I did vlog yesterday but I don't think I showed you my nails like actually done so here they are they're like a it's like a goldy pink it almost gives the illusion of chrome and then I have a haircut thank god at half one 145 my hair is literally just a giant rat's tail and has been for ages it's been needing cut very badly very very badly so I can't wait to get that done and then I'm going to come home put you out on go take some pictures hopefully weather dependent with my hair 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 all done 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 and then I think the cinema is at 8 15 tonight I'm going to see the challengers with Zendaya which to be honest I love Zendaya so I was always planning on seeing it but I was like based on the trailer I didn't think it looked like that much of a good movie but I've heard now I think four people like on socials, I've seen four people posting being like, best movie I've seen in ages. Um, and someone called it the sluttiest movie they've ever seen. So like that excites me greatly. I um, can't wait. So we just have my pink Amplify shorts and bra on from Alphalete. Um, Amplify is my favorite shorts and leggings of all time. This little top is from Urban Outfitters, but I got it when I was literally 16 years old. So good luck finding it. Don't think it exists anymore. And I also don't shop from Urban anymore. So, and then I put a little pink ribbon in my hair because I'm just so cute and girly and princessy. And then obviously my nails are pink. Let's go. Oh, it's so nice in your head. 
Oh, it's so nice in your hand. Oh, so nice in your hand. Oh, so nice. Oh, so nice, puppy. Okay, we went to Pilates, we walked the dogs, and now we're rushing to my hair appointment. It's time to finally get these silly little rat's tails a long overdue tidy up. Honestly, my hair's been driving me crazy. It is disgusting lately. Ugh, yuck but Kat is gonna work her magic. The girl who's doing my hair, Kat, I actually went to primary school with her and I haven't seen her since primary school. So this is gonna be weird. She probably saw my name and was like, oh. Cause like we haven't spoken, but just I always see her doing hair on her Instagram and I think like, your salon looks lovely, your work looks great. I'm coming to you. Um, but I had to like reschedule the appointment. I think I rescheduled it three times. So she probably thinks I'm a freak. Um, but we'll see. I'm, I'll try and film when I'm there, but I might get nervous because I know her. So I might be like, oh, I don't want to get my camera out. Here's my hair. She's much shorter, but God, does that feel so nice to have like not dead scraggly ends. It's white sambas. They're gorgeous. Thanks, Mom. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Guys, my mom is so cute. So she already bought me, she already gave me a very generous birthday gift early, like a couple months back. She gave me a very generous birthday gift. She always does. She spoils me rotten always has and then today she comes over and she's like i have a little something for you i'm like mom what did you buy and it was a boots bag so i thought like okay she's gone and bought me some my favorite shampoo and conditioner like that's very kind no she didn't she's only gone and bought me prada paradox which is one of the perfumes i've had on my wish list for ages now um i love it so much so she bought me prada paradox and then also something that's been on my wish list for a little while I love my black sambas and mum has white sambas and I really like her white ones. And so she went and bought me my own white sambas. Every year, every birthday, every Christmas, she just can't help herself. I say, mum, that's enough, okay? Stop, I don't need anything else. And she says, yeah, but I just like to buy you things. I think gift giving is her love language, which, you know, works for me because I. I do love gifts, I won't lie, I am a material girl. I am just about to put my comfies on and get ready to go out to the cinema to see the challengers. It's an eight o'clock screening, which is so late for me, but there was no, I, ideally I would have gone to like a six o'clock, maybe even seven at a push, but there was no option for that. There was only five or eight and I couldn't make five, so I'm going for eight. Ah. <sighs> I need to try not to fall asleep because I'll be so annoyed at myself if I pay £12 for my cinema ticket only to fall asleep during the cinema. Hello, it's been a while. It's a week later and I'm here to give you the rundown on the movie, on Challengers, which I went to see last Saturday so today is Friday so it's been almost a week since I saw it and I wanted to have a week to like think about my my official opinion on the movie so knee-jerk reaction was that was fucking long it was a long movie an unnecessarily long movie some movies can get away with being like two and a half three hours and it works this one was drawn out longer than it needed to be so that pissed me off however the acting was stellar and the cinematography was like some of the coolest stuff I've ever seen. Um, so, you know, credit where credit's due. It was very impressive, but just, it could have been, you know, we could have wrapped up a little quicker. It was really cool to see Zendaya playing a very different role to anything I've seen her play before. And the two main male characters um, both of whom's names escaped me at this current time. Mike Faced is one of them, and I forget the other one's name, but they were both brilliant. Mike Faced seems very rude, to be honest, um, in like every, I've, this is my thing, every time I watch a movie, now I will spend the next like two weeks where all I will watch is interviews about that movie, like press run interviews of the cast. 
My face is so unnecessarily rude. Like, real attitude problem on that guy. Not a fan. Um, but Zendaya and the other man whose name I can't remember, they're brilliant, they're very sweet. Um, and they've been great in all the interviews. But I think it's a movie everyone should see. It's one of those movies that you can just tell it's gonna be like a classic. Um, like it had like a very, a future icon feel to it, if that makes sense. So it was really good, but also a bit weird. Like, the, the plot wasn't necessary. I just said it was really good, but I was it? I think if Zendaya was just in it, because let me be for real. If anyone else had played Tashi besides Zendaya, I probably would rate that movie a 5.5. .5. Like it wouldn't have really interested me. And the fact that Zendaya was in it, it's now a 6.5. Um, which seems low for a movie with Zendaya in it, but like, you know, it was a good movie. I would recommend watching it, but like, will I watch it again? No. However, I take that back, I actually might watch it again purely to see Zendaya and all her magic. Like, I would pay 10 times over for a ticket to go see Zendaya look that beautiful all over again. She is just wow. And she, a lot of her body is in this film. There's no nude scenes or anything, but like there's a couple scenes where she's in like lingerie and stuff. And I was just like, so not only do you have a face like that, you have a body like that. Like what the heck? And her, Zendaya's pressed her looks, like all the like tennis core looks have been simply beyond words. 12 out of 10. I don't know what else to say. Like just, wow. I feel like the last five minutes have just been me contradicting myself. So, you know, take everything I just said and do with it what you will. See the movie, don't see the movie, you know, your life will go on either way. But yeah, that's it for me. I'm ending my birthday vlog. Guys, I did manage to spend my whole birthday without crying, like the Saturday, but oh my God, I woke up on the Sunday. I've never been in a worse mood than that in my, possi possibly in my life. Like I was in a foul mood. If anyone had come too close to me, I fear I might have bitten them. And by might, I mean like absolutely certainly, I would have bitten them to the bone. Like, <sighs> and then I was kind of the same on the Monday. Like I had chilled out a bit, but like I was really angry. And um, I think it's just cause I'd been suppressing my sad girl emotions. And then I was like full of sad girl emotions. And then Monday night, I just like <laughs> cried a lot. So I think I cried on Sunday too. There's always next year, you know, maybe my next birthday I will feel positively about the day. But maybe that's too much to ask. And if it is, then so be it. I've been talking for far too long, so I am going to let you go. I'm going to release you from the shackles of my yapping. And I hope you have enjoyed spending my 22nd, <laughs> 20, 20, my 17th birthday with me, okay? Toodles.